to you. Okay, we're back. Okay. All right. Now, this is our big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> our big surprise. Uh, here at Alabama Gospel Roots, we have been working on this, I think, over a year, right? Yeah. yeah. Over a year. She is finally here, y'all. <laughs> Lisa Noel Smith. We I'm so excited. You, I love yes, y'all. Yes, we love you. you. Thank you so much for stopping by Alabama Gospel Roots. I'm so excited to be here. Yes. I tell you, she is here. Her group is here with Lisa Noel Smith and company. Yes, they are up in yes. here. And I will prepare for the taping. Uh, she's here. And she will actually be featured on Alabama Gospel Roots a little later on. We will not let you forget about it. How you been doing, my I'm, sister? I'm so good. So I'm awesome. one of your biggest fans Oh, now. I appreciate I it. I am. <laughs> you brought us to your concerts sure and different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just honored to be here. Always excited to get the opportunity to kind of share music and share moments. Mm -hmm. and, you know, life has been so different the last it has. year. Yes. So it just kind of feels good to be back out with the Ooh. team. I call them my squad. You yes. know, be back out with my squad. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> hey, shout out to the squad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. Yes, they all eating right now. That's yes, all we right. Ain't show them, That's right. Yes, we sir. real folk. <laughs> That's right. We real people. So how how have you been doing? You know, with this pandemic and all that, and what you've been working on, and what can we expect from you in the future? Well, you know, I've been doing awesome. Just kind of really enjoying the time with my family and my friends, and really just having a moment to. I think. The pandemic made me appreciate home mm -hmm, a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, I traveled a lot, so traveling a lot, you know, getting a chance to slow down, spend time with my kids, ride, yes. by, ride the bike. Real stuff. So, yeah, right. I really, right. really have enjoyed just having that time. Mm -hmm. um, currently working, I did a recording uh, June of 2019. Okay. It was my first ever live recording as Lisa Noel Smith now. Right. Um, so we're working towards getting that music mm -hmm. out. Excited about it. It's okay. still, you know, I know a lot of people know me from singing quartet, right? Mm -hmm. So um, this new stuff is a little bit of church, a little bit of quartet, and a little bit of praise and worship, but it's all Lisa. You and know, it's, so it's, it's just all, a little bit yeah, of everything. Just a little bit of everything. <laughs> and I'm grateful that I kind of get to share and show some other sides outside of quartet. That is wonderful. Yeah. You know, you, you, you're a very daring gospel artist. Absolutely. You don't mind trying something I, absolutely. new, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. And of course, how the brown singers The brown doing. singers are amazing. You know, uh, we just sang for the first time in a few months at Bama Glass. Yes. And yes. let me tell you something. Them girls, you can't... Oh, they could. Listen, we was ready to sing. Oh, I know. <laughs> ready Ooh. to sing. I think, you know, for many of us who do this, uh, even musicians and singers, mm -hmm. and we love what we do. And if you love it, you miss it. That You do. So uh, we really miss being out there. So having an opportunity to come together. And the Browns, we're working on some stuff. We're going to do a live recording this year. It's going to oh. be a pop-up. Um, okay. So I, I, I'm not going to, you know, give too many details, but we're going to pop-up. Um, and we're going to actually get a DVD and you know, we didn't get a chance to do it. When we did our last DVD, it was like 2007. Wow. Um, so just being able to do it again and kind of capture these moments mm -hmm. uh, as I go into what I call retirement. People don't like me to say that. But definitely slowing down just a little bit, focusing a little bit on the label and helping other artists and doing other things that I want to do. Um, you can't, sometimes you can't do that 100% mm -hmm. while you're still trying to push yourself. That's true. So I really want to be able put to push. Self aside. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to finish this part of what I'm doing and then, you know, we're going to push some other people. I got uh, Jeremy Hill and is in my, my squad. He okay. just released a new project, Jerry, Jeremy Hill and Remnant. Yes. Uh, Where is Jeremy Hill? Jeremy is right here. I've been trying to get you on Alabama Gospel Room. He needs to yes, be here. <laughs> I'm calling you out. Yeah. <laughs> I inboxed you. Yeah. And he, he didn't needs, answer my inbox. He needs to be on you. <laughs> <laughs> Kendra Studemeyer, they're working oh, she's on stuff. Amazing. Yes, yes, you know, they're all a part of my squad. They awesome. they really embraced me when I moved to Alabama and anything that I asked them to do, my mm -hmm. producer and MD Josh Brown, Javon okay. Seeley, Trey, Nisi, yeah. they they rock with me. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, you're such a lovable person, Lisa. We love you, <laughs> Thank girl. You. I mean, Thank you you. because you keep it real. I try to. You keep I try. it real. <laughs> I try. I try. So I try. what advice do you have to give to an upcoming artist? You know, I tell everybody the same thing. Don't try to make it. Whatever it is mm. that you're trying to do, don't try to make it. 
Mm. A lot of people ask me, what do I need to do to make it? How I need to don't try to make it. We're we're not doing what we do to make it. There you go. Right. I mean, if you make it to somewhere, we try to make it in. Uh -huh. We want to see Jesus. There you go. So I'm doing everything that I do, and I teach everybody, every young person that I mentor and come in contact with for ministry. Let it be about the ministry. Keep the main yes. thing the main thing. Whatever doors God wants to open for you, the Bible says that He that humbles Himself, mm. God will exalt you. Come on, now. let Him do the exalting. That's if He it. does it, then nobody can take the credit for it. That's and right. Nobody can pull you down. Woo! That's what I'm talking so about. So I just do what God calls me to do, and then He provides opportunities through you guys. You know, exactly. opportunities like this, so that the message of what we sing mm -hmm. can be heard. And I, and that, that's really important to me. That through my life. You through my music, you see the reflection of my lifestyle. Yes, yes. And you're a grandmother's child, like me yes. too. Yes, <laughs> my granny yes, it was my heart. Granny. Yes, yes. She, yes. Was. she was my heart, and I act a lot like her. I talk a whole bunch, I shout a whole lot, uh -huh. and I, I never meet strangers. That's right. Girl. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Now, before I let you get away, you sitting on that next day. Yeah, I was now. sitting on this piano. Ah, let me, come on, let me now. see. Let me see what I got. I got come a on, song. Now, you want a head? Head? I want a head. Oh my God. <laughs> No, I uh, I used to play for my grandfather's church, actually. Did you? Yeah, I played for my grandfather for, and, and honestly, he's the reason why I ever even started trying to play. I took lessons from uh, Barbara Jackson. Her brother was Derrick Jackson, the Derrick Jackson. Really? Yes. My mama took lessons from Derrick Jackson. I took lessons from his sister, Barbara. Uh -huh. And uh, I learned, like, two songs, and I quit. <laughs> Come on. And uh, afterwards, you know, I just kind of played a little bit with my granddaddy. So he let me he let me peck a, around a little bit for him. And so that's how I write my music. I sit down at the piano. Oh, the piano sit down at the keyboard. Yeah. Wow. Josh, Josh teach me one new chord maybe a week. A, mm. a month. Wow. I, I watch his hands and I, I learn one chord. So do you play by ear? <laughs> yeah, songs pretty too? much. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. I, I learned how to play. And my granddad, he was, he was notorious for making up songs on the spot. Mm -hmm. You know, so he uh, but, but you know, so actually the best songs. You, one of the songs that uh, we released, the Brownsies released as a single, If God Can't Do It, Nobody Can. Yes. My yeah. granddaddy wrote that song. Now when he sang it though, he oh, sang it like, If God can't do it, nobody can. You can have it. So on the record, you hear him and my grandmother come in on the That's end right. of and sing it. But he wrote that, and I played with him. You know, I ain't, I can't play for real. I can just kind of pick around and make you think I can play a little bit. But Honey. it did the job. Girl, you bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you. Well, again, Lisa, we are so excited to have you on thank Alabama you. Gospel Roots. Follow my page. I'm not going to let you forget about it. Lisa Noel Smith coming up. Alabama Gospel Roots. We love you. Love you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I appreciate Thank it. You. Bye, y'all. <laughs>